Hey, you're ugly. Did your mom <laughs> slap you in the face when you were a baby? <laughs> hey everyone. So last week, you saw me learn how to roast coffee. Now it's time to learn how to make the perfect shot, how to froth milk, how to put it all together into one beautiful little drink. And I have to serve the morning rush. So first I'm going to give you the tour of our kitchen. It's going to be kind of like a constant spinning motion. The coffee shop itself is like a constant dance. A dance, you say? So in the kitchen dance, we've got all of our flavors, which are the basic flavors that are on the list. They go alphabetical. Then we have the ones that are our special flavors that are on the specials that are on this shelf. And fruit flavors, which tend to get not used as much in the winter time. This is the refrigerator that has all the alternative milks, full brew, regular milk, smoothies, nice drip coffee. This is our uh, caffeinated espresso, the Hot Trail Espresso Grinder. This one's automatic, so when you put the quarter filter in there, it will automatically pour the right amount of coffee into it. Thank God. Yes. This one is the decaf, though, so this one does not automatically do things for it. There's a button on the bottom left. You probably won't get a whole lot of decaf people tomorrow, so don't okay. worry about it. And then the espresso machine. We've got the dairy side with the steam wand, and then hot water that comes out here. Two of the espresso wands, the dairy pitcher for spoons, the non-dairy pitcher for spoons, and then the non-dairy steam wand with the non-dairy towel, the packed cake of espresso. Yeah. This is the yeah. box that we tamp that into. That I know. And then we've got 12, 16, 20 ounce cups and cool drinks. So, Great. I have a little guide. These are the two things that I'm going to be training you on today so okay. that you're more comfortable with what we got going okay. on tomorrow. We've got In Search of the Perfect Shot. Beautiful. I think In Search of the Perfect Shot would be the name of my biography. Like In Search of the Perfect Shot. It refers to coffee and alcohol. In Search of the Perfect Shot. Katie Sackhoff and Michael Jordan's <laughs> biography. Did you just compare yourself to Michael Jordan? I did. I did. Wow. So we have all the equipment and the beans necessary to make the perfect cup of coffee. But there is one more thing. Right. And you need quality water as well. So our water is actually rated the best water in Oregon. Mount Hood water mm -hmm. is great. You can drink it right out of the tap. Yep. This is uh, why all the water on sets, the coffee is terrible because they use water out of a truck. Yeah. It's good. Oh, so gross. I've been so sheltered and I've never really tasted a whole lot of city water and I just took my first flight ever and we went to Vegas and I've never tasted bad water until recently. Yeah. And I was like, oh no. Vegas, you water may suck, but you know how to party. Don't send hate mail, please. Press about 32 pounds of pressure onto your portable. Got it. So to estimate that, a good one is just leaning all of your body weight onto one side for beginning to practice okay. to like get used to it. You can have a scale out too to do that, but we don't have one at the moment. So about 30 pounds of pressure, I'll show you how I go about it and then I'll have you do it. Right. When you are making your espresso, you want to make sure you have a nice fine espresso grind. You're going to level it out so it's nice and even on yeah. top. Make sure it's flat on the counter so that it's always consistent because consistency is key. To save your wrist, I usually point at the counter so that you don't bend your wrist because you're more prone to carpal tunnel. You want to do one main tamp with a little bit of a spin, get it to the point where you can tap off the extra grinds and then just a polish on the second time. So no pressure polish. Wipe off the edges and then we're going to insert it in here. There's a little nub, a nubbin in there where yeah. you want to line up with. So you'll line up with it and then we're going to push it as far over as we can because we need to adjust our gaskets. And then they're all the same amount of water. So as it pours, we want to have between 20 to 23 seconds. 23 seconds is your perfect shot, but you can use anything from 18 seconds to 28 seconds, especially if you're using good coffee. So you see how the darkness is starting to rise? Yeah. That is the shot going bad as we speak. So while we're making a drink, you wanna make sure that we pour it into the drink immediately so yeah. that they get the most quality of crema. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna get my timer out. You just wasted two shots of espresso. Sorry. That's just, <laughs> it's just the world of trade. Do you need a coffee? I'll make you a coffee. No, next espresso, I will take. So here is your tool, my dear. Okay. This is an automatic grinder. So we're going to insert that right into here. There's a little button that you'll press it up against. There you go. You level it out, no pressure leveling. Beautiful. And then make sure you set that on the counter. Yes, like you're pointing down at the counter. 
That looks very good. And then a little bit of a tap on the edge. And then a no pressure polish. Yes. Look at you. She's a flipping pro. I drink a lot of coffee. See, you got it. You got the basic needs down. I have seen this done Boom. a lot of times. Press the button. One, two, three. Oh, two four, fast ones. Five. Oh. Oh, just a little short. So little the short. only thing that we need to do is probably just a little bit more pressure on your tamp. The key to a perfect espresso shot is grind tamp and volume. Okay. So we've got the grind down because we set that before yes. we got here. The volume is always the same. That's why we have the yeah. automatic Ranchilio um, dispenser. That's why I didn't get any. That's why the crema was a little bit lacking in the marbling effect when it comes to pouring your shots. Got so it. now it's just down to the tamp because we have the grind which and the volume, the which is the pressing. So when you do it, you'll just have to give a little bit more oomph on it. Okay. And then we'll do it again. So sorry, I'm pouring the shots out again. Sorry, Robin. Sorry, Robin. Sorry, Robin. This is going to be the one I can do. So, so close. close. So close. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh my God, Katie. Those are going to be the ones. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh my God, we're already at 16. We're already at 16. Oh, 20, 21, 22. Oh, hurry up. Quick. Oh, 24. That's okay, good. That's good. We okay. can use those. Okay. We All can right. use those. We can use those. She got good shots, yes. people. Okay. All right. I got good shots. You never got a cup of coffee. No, no, I did not. Sorry, Robin. And after you get a few more perfect shots in a row, we'll swap and you can start steaming the milk for me so that you're ready for your specials tomorrow. She's dancing, folks. Nice, you keep getting 20s. She's killing it. 21. Those are the best shots yet. She did it. We graduated She's shot school, there. folks. She's getting She's there. She's getting it. Go ahead and you're going to insert the milk. You're going to use this spout as kind of your angle to hold it in one location because you want to kind of make a whirlpool effect. Okay. So we're going to just barely have the tip in and then push this all the way up for it to stay on. That's the okay. lever there. All the way up. I need a lock. Then we're going to kind of aerate it to get rid of that sound. Yeah. Because that sound of it screaming is definitely kind of a sign of it burning and not getting the appropriate amount of airflow. Okay. So we want it to have a nice, mellow sound. And then you want to kind of create a vortex where the milk will naturally spin. We're going to go just to the beginning of the red and it'll continue to heat as it goes. So you just perfectly steam cut milk right there. And then you just set it there. So you do that. Yes, people tap it to tap the bubbles out. That's a good sign that you're getting contrast on top. Well done. Lid and sleeve. That is perfect. I think you're ready for tomorrow. I mean, I'm ready to be a really good assistant tomorrow. I think you're going to kick butt and you're not going to need any of my help and you're just be back here and slaying the dirt. I don't know about that. <laughs> I have faith in you. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to stir the shots? Yes. Shot? This is the drink, man. This is your first perfect shots. Mr. Mike got the lucky mocha. Perfect shots from Katie. Yeah. And then once we got a good amount, it's pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit of milk to kind of make sure ensure the fact that the, the chocolate is all. Yes, because it, that's like the worst thing ever when you go to drink the mocha and you get a pocket of powder in the middle of your drink because you didn't stir all the chocolate. And this is regular milk. Yes, so it, it goes in the regular milk to the dairy. And then we're just going to leave probably about a finger's length of room at the top because we're going to put whipped cream on it. Boom. And then a lid. I made this all myself. <laughs> so much. I oh. oh, thank you so much. <laughs> awesome. Yay. Yay. Well, I'll tell him. <laughs> it's my first one. It's like Yay. your first official rush. <laughs> awesome. Yay.
She's doing it. You guys, that was awesome. It was awesome being there and it was awesome watching it all back, doing the narrations for you guys. I learned even more the second time. I love coffee. I love coffee even more now, and I hope that you guys do too. Hi. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hi. Hi. Hi again. Hi. Hi. You guys got here so early, we hadn't even turned our sound equipment on. I'll just be back here making your coffees. Do you want to start mixing those guys? Into yes. It wouldn't be right if we weren't thrown into the wolves. I know, right? right? Now it's like, oh. <laughs> Are we even open? If this was the grand opening, we'd be so excited. <laughs> is this regular milk? Yes, it is. Okay. Just steamed right there. Look, she's already on the dairy. So when it says BSC, that's the brown sugar signature. Brown sugar latte? Yes. We have a brown sugar special. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, other than the fact that I don't know how to make all the drinks, but mm, it's coming, I promise. <laughs> this is fun. This one is ready to go with two shots. Yep, go for it. Okay. And then this is the milk for it. So the milk goes in the hot chocolate, right? You or this one? Oh, yeah. right, because we don't want the shots to sit. And then the hot chocolate goes with that one. It's going to be <gasps> Daniel. You almost got a heart. I almost got a heart. It's like a Pac-Man. He's like, here's my Pac-Man. <laughs> I don't care if it looks like Pac-Man or a heart or a butt. I'm just happy it looks like something. I told him I'm good under pressure. This is when I get real. This is one. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Sir. 12 ounce Americano with room. That is mine. But I need a picture with you. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Hi. Oh, so nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank nice you. Meet you. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Thank my wife Hope is your like, going, I great. can't believe he stayed all with you. Good. <laughs> Almost. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, <gonna do> it. <laughs> I'm practicing my latte art now, guys. I'm getting, yes. Things are getting it. crazy over here. Guys, I am really trying to get this art down. I don't even know if my coffee tastes good. I just want it to look good. My heart looks like Pac-Man's. What did you say that your latte art looked like originally? Penises. Peni. Male genitalia. I didn't show them off a whole lot. I wonder if there's anything called penis art coffee. Why are you looking at me? Because I feel like this is something that you would know. I'm not into weird stuff like that, you guys. I feel like we should trademark penis coffee. I'm making super cappuccinos. I don't even know what it is. Super breve cappuccinos, everybody. Super breve cappuccinos. So we're doing the vortex so that it pops all of the bigger bubbles and creates that microfiber foam. Yeah, foam so we can do art. Yeah. Yes, or just have really nice foam for cappuccinos. Perfect. Your milk is yeah, really, really good because this one specifically wants the foam on top. Cappuccinos, you want that foam. Lattes, you don't need all of that foam. And then you can pause in the middle too and swirl again so that you know that you get. So they want a lot of foam on this puppy. Yes. You can just pour all that in pretty much. That is so beautiful, oh my gosh. Oh geez, you did that. You did that one. It's gonna, that's it's freaking, gonna fly out That's though. a breve cappuccino. One of your breves is a little messy. It's the one I need, but I promise it's got a lot of love in it. All right. really good on that foam. We're only a half hour into this. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let's get on my flat, my, my little. Oh, I so close. It was so close. So close. Darn it. It's filthy, but it's, <laughs> it's my best heart yet. Oh, it's really filthy. <laughs> Yeah. It, it did not, it didn't, yeah. Well, and I like you, that it's the same name. Did yeah. you do signature latte art on the... <laughs> <laughs> sure. I got that. Just give me a second. That might be easier than a heart. Because my signature looks like crazy anyway. I appreciate the silence. It's helping me focus. <laughs> little nudge. So go ahead and keep your forearm faster just a little bit because you want to keep it going. Oh, you look good that. Very good contrast. So pull that string towards the center and go a little bit faster. And then move the string back to the top and go through it. That's a good 
there. Scott, it's a tulip. Oh, sweet. I'm not gonna tell you that's what it was supposed to be, but it's a tulip. Sorry, everyone. Thank you for your patience. Sorry for someone who just was looking for coffee and has no idea who I am. <laughs> that's the people I feel sorry for. I apologize. Those people that are like, who is this chick and why is she <laughs> taking so long? She needs to be fired. <laughs> we give everybody a chance. Like actually artistic. <laughs> nice. I'm like the Jackson Pollock of latte art. <laughs> Nicole, because I forgot to put it in it, so I put it on it. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm on register now. Dylan, mm -hmm. two shot cap. Okay. This oh, is, that's my boyfriend. This is Leanna's boy. Oh. <laughs> so if I accidentally charge you like a hundred dollars, <laughs> they do it all the time. Cappuccino, twelve ounce, two shot. I'm assuming that it's already got one shot in it. I think it comes with two shots. Does it come yeah. with two shots? Yeah, it comes yeah. with two. Yeah. It's priced out for two. Perfect. Perfect. That'll be three dollars and fifty cents. Would you like to use cash or credit? I'd like to use my girlfriend. <laughs> I forgot my cash. Uh, what is it? Perfect. Hey, let's do It's you. very nice to do business with you. Thank you for the run, the, the help. May I please help? Who's next? Whatever you're getting there, I'm going to have to find on here, so it might take a beer while. Syrup. What is beer syrup? It's syrup with beer. It's syrup with beer, but it's not, it's non alcoholic. We have like. Is it like syrup for like waffles? For coffee. coffee okay. Syrup for waffles. You just drink it? Or like Kahlua? You know, in a diabetic coma and like... Well, that's true. <laughs> okay, so beer syrup would be under... Food? Beer syrup. Small, or medium, or large. Perfect. Okay, so that is that. And then drinks, brown sugar cinnamon latte, add. I was getting really good at the cash register. That'll be $15.25, please. Also gonna get oh, shit. <laughs> How may I help you? <laughs> okay, maybe not. If Just coffee. A, a lot of my shots have. They're, <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a screw up jar. So just black coffee? No Two. sugar, no cream, nothing. Just black. Like your soul? <laughs> okay, what size would you like of the devil's brew? Well, in that case, I'll take a 20 ounce. <laughs> a 20 ounce? I mean, listen, I've already had two cups. So, a large devil's brew. I like that name. I like that name. Do you want any shots in that or just black coffee? You don't have alcohol, so just black coffee. Yes. I mean, I have some in my purse, but <laughs> I don't think that's legal. You're under no obligation to tip me. Uh, sure. Thank you so very much. Oh, don't forget your beer oh, things you. thing, thingy. The lady's doing okay without her? Yes. She's kicking butt. She's nailing it on the tag. And then a bacon cheddar, jalapeno stuff. Two of those. Oh, Here, Jesus. You don't want to split? No, I want my own. Making it work. What size is yours? Just as your own cup? Yeah. Okay. And then food, two bacon cheddar things. I think that's here. Nope. I think that's here. Nope. I think. Were you training last night? Yes, I trained all day yesterday. This is how sad it is. <laughs> okay. Those are these ones on top. Oh, God, cash. Is that harder? Nope, nope. <laughs> the till just supposed to open? Okay. I roasted a batch of coffee yesterday and we're donating those bags to be raffled off by local charities. Oh, so I'm gonna okay. sign those. Yeah, that's what I was doing yesterday was roasting coffee. It was very cool. It was very nice to meet you. Yeah, you be good. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're very good. You're very good boy. You're very good boy. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Hey, Judy and Teresa, it's Katie here. Sorry that you guys didn't think that I was cool enough to actually get up and drive up here. <laughs> but uh, Susie did, and um, we're best friends now. So um, you guys are just SOL, okay? All right, bye ladies. I don't know why I came, like broke into like a slight Minnesota accent. <laughs> you do that quite a bit, actually. I do do that quite a bit. Sound like I'm in Fargo. What, I must have forgotten to write your hot chocolate down. Okay. Got it? Yeah, 16 ounces, right? That's my fault. I forgot a drink. They're SOL. Sorry.
They have hemp. You guys have hemp milk, don't you? Yes. Oh, do hemp we milk? do have hemp milk. <laughs> do a hemp milk latte, please. Any extra shots? I'll do an extra shot. Easy foam. Easy foam. Okay. What's your name? Robin. Robin. I have an Aunt Robin. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a cup of coffee I make from start to finish. The perfect cup of coffee that I have learned in my two days. Of course he picks hemp milk instead of regular milk. It's fine, it's totally fine. All right, and you wanted an extra shot and you wanted 16 ounce. Here we go. I'm a messy cook. 32 pounds of pressure. In it. it has like the it's outline two of boobs. a heart on it, but it's, <laughs> it's two boobs or a butt or a butt with, with some forks. <laughs> oh, it does look like testicles. <laughs> there you go, babe. That it's means you're a true perfect perfect cup of coffee with testicle foam. That's that's how it goes. Thank you. How's your coffee? Excellent. So because I played a character named Starbucks and I drink so much coffee, people just assume that I know a lot about coffee and I'd actually never learned how to make the perfect cup of coffee. So as much as I drink, I'm not a connoisseur. So when we thought about doing a video, it made sense to come up here and do this and then 30 bags are getting donated to local charities so they can raffle those off. I think it's obvious you drink a lot of coffee. I have not had enough today. We've been so busy, I haven't made my own latte yet. <laughs> I made it for him. That's love, people. When you make sure your boyfriend is fed before you, and you starve to death because you want them to be taken care of. <laughs> and you didn't share? No, she's living the real barista life. I'm not. <laughs> Having to wait till everybody else is served. What can I get for you? Can I have a 16 ounce triple shot Americano? Where are the Americanos on here? Oh, there they are, because it's in alphabetical order. You want a 16 ounce triple shot yeah. Americano. So that is adding one shot? Yes. That's my brother. Is it now? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And what is your name, just Joe. in case she forgot? <laughs> Joe. Not. I'll make sure she doesn't spit in it. It's been really busy this morning. Well, I'll tell you, at first we were a little bit concerned. You know, it's a big, big thing to uh, learn so much about coffee in such a short period of time. But she got an A plus today. She, today was her final exam. She served about a hundred different families. Great multitasking, great coffee, shot production. Everything looked great, great crema. And uh, her customer service skills were way, way, way advanced. I'm like the people pleaser of all people pleasers. I'm so good with people that when people leave me, all they say is, that girl has got great people skills. I think being thrown into the wolves immediately when we all got here, she did the best that she and we could have done, and I'm very proud of her. I didn't burn the place down! Yay! 
You guys, that was such a fun episode. I had so much fun making the coffees and meeting all the fans that came out to see me. It meant so much to me that people traveled early in the morning to be there at the coffee shop to get a coffee made by me. I really appreciate it. To Mount Hood Roasters, thank you for taking the time. The entire staff was just absolutely lovely and, and so helpful. And thank you for donating all those bags of coffee to local charities. That's awesome and that's what it's all about. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope that you learned a little bit more about coffee. Bye.